Here with me I have Yang Yi, who is a product manager for Fluidime. And first of all, Yang, tell me what you do for the company. Great. Thanks. Good morning, Chuck. Um, as you mentioned, my name is Yang, and uh, I'm a product manager here at Fluidime, uh, primarily for the uh, genotyping and protein crystallization applications. Now, in order to do that, part of what we call the Fluidime system includes the integrated fluidic chips, uh, IFCs, which really are something that Fluidime has created. So, first of all, describe for me what one of these IFCs is. Sure, sure. So, the, uh, as you mentioned, the integrated fluidic circuit really is the core of our technology. And what it is, it's a network of microfluidic channels and valves. And what is unique to our technology really is that ability to develop. And so with that ability, you have the capability to integrate and develop these chips for various applications. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, one of our IFCs. And in the middle is where that network of channels and valves is and really the heart of the technology. But we've also developed them to be SPS compatible, which means that they're standard format and so you can um, use them with existing systems. Mm -hmm. And one of the real strengths of the system is that it brings a lot of efficiency, meaning that because you're using very small channels and this very um, dense network, you can do in one chip, which typically would take, let's say, a room full of robotics or uh, instruments otherwise. So for your customers, what you're essentially doing is really helping reduce their their costs in terms of equipment or inputs and and probably also time as well. Absolutely. So uh, with microfluidics, with miniaturization comes efficiency. Uh, one of those efficiencies is using smaller volumes, so you're using less reagent, therefore saving cost. Another efficiency is the integration, which means that the chip is doing a lot of the work that a typical researcher would be doing. And so you save a lot of pipetting steps and manual labor with the chip also. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of efficiency that are brought with the chip. And that's particularly important for ag bio because you're dealing with a tremendous number of samples in this arena and also a wide variety of different species, different applications. And so this is where our chips, mm -hmm. our IFC technology can really benefit you. Can you describe the process of manufacturing these? Because essentially that's what you do. You, you make these for your clients uh, when they place an order. And, mm -hmm. and I think it's interesting to know the kind of process and how long does it take to make? Because they, they do seem, right. being so miniaturized, that, it, that that would seem kind of complicated <laughs> to some of us, you know? Right, right, exactly. And so um, the other thing about the technology is that it's uh, built upon some of the technology that's out there, meaning that in order to actually make these channels and valves, we utilize a lot of the semiconductor technology. And so we use silicon wafers, we use a, a process called photolithography to actually mold these channels. And as you can imagine, semiconductors need to be made very precisely, very exactly. And so those benefits actually translate to our chips also because we can control the channel dimensions and everything very finely. And we actually manufacture in Singapore a lot of our chips. And uh, I mentioned that because the Singapore industry, a lot of that was built off of the semiconductor industry. And so we leveraged off of that knowledge to, to be able to make our chips very well also. What would be an example of uh, the type of company or, or organization that's been able to make use of your technology? And then what do you, looking at the ag sector, what would be some examples of where you think companies that would benefit from this type of technology? Sure. So I think that uh, really the, the benefits of the system could be reached far and wide in the ag bio world. So uh, one of our existing customers, for example, um, the Alaska Department of Fish and Game, is using our system for doing population studies and managing the fisheries in Alaska. And uh, you know, conversely, we also have companies working with seeds in order to do the molecular breeding, so for testing for the various traits that are desirable for the seeds, as well as quality control, making sure that the farmer is getting the seed that they actually ordered, and could also then reach into livestock, so making sure that um, 
the traits that are desirable are being bred and also doing parentage verification studies, so identify, identifying the parent for this offspring, let's say. And so really it could um, reach far and wide and across the egg biospace from folks that are using or running thousands of samples to just a few also. Mm -hmm. Well, um, when you look uh, ahead, I know that these uh, circuits that you've built started out back several years ago, mm -hmm. relatively simple. They've become more complex, more channels, more uh, valves and That's you right. know, on, on that, that chip. Do you see that as uh, continuing to grow where the, the, the technology that you have is going to allow for, I don't know if that would be uh, faster or, right. Right. or greater amounts of testing yeah. with the same type of product? Very good question, Chuck. So um, as you mentioned, in the very beginning, um, our chips were relatively simple. We only had a few valves on our chip. But over time, they've increased in density so that we can fit more and more experiments onto a chip. And so that certainly can continue, much like it has in the semiconductor industry with Moore's Law. And so we absolutely have that capability, and it will continue. But uh, on the flip side of it, another strength is not only density, but integrating and combining functions onto a chip. And so really, it's going to be a combination of what the chip can do along with what the application requires. Mm -hmm. Some application will, will require just doing a ton of experiments on, it, on a single chip. Others will require integrating multiple complex functions. And our chips can actually do both of those. And so it's uh, pretty exciting as far as what we can bring to the future in AgBio. Great, well thank you very much. That's Yang Yi, he is a product manager with Fluidime, and we're here at Fluidime headquarters. I'm Chuck Zimmerman reporting.